The part I was in, even the hard rock was still like another 30 minutes. The hard R? Hard rock. Oh. <laughs> that's Jeez. actually, that would be cool if we, if we went there. That'd be great. The hard rock? That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. We go to the Davidoff? Because now there's sports betting now. Like, it's all legal and shit. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You could do anything there. <clears throat> anything? Yeah. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Sigador. Basically, this is a lightsaber. No, it's a humidor, technically, but it only fits one cigar. Humidity gauge on there. Basically, what you do is open this up, unscrew it. The whole thing unscrews, so this part comes off. You can also unscrew this part from the center. Okay, it comes with a water dropper. Is take distilled water and drop it in the bottom. You can tell this the bottom because it's got a flat surface. Take your cigar, now that you've got the humidity where you want it to be. Basically drop it in and close this bad boy up and nothing is gonna happen to your cigar. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, ready to attack. Ready to attack on the podcast, Cigar Guys podcast, back in the studio once again. I feel like it's been a while since we've been in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's been a minute. We've been at a couple different lounges. Couple lounges, hanging out and chilling in Miami. For really, some reason, I can't hear you that well. I can't hear myself. I can't hear you either. That's weird. Look, what? what is it plugged in? Oh, yeah, there we go. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. I, I can, can hear, hear myself, hear though. You can't hear yourself? When I speak, yeah, but what about this? I, I can hear uh, that. Hey, Jared, guess what? Can you hear yourself speak? So it sounds like <laughs> we just missed the first 30 minutes of the podcast with some extreme jokes that now I have to retell. You didn't say anything. I've been speaking, well, because it wasn't recorded, <laughs> but you know. You can probably hear it just fine. Things were said. Yeah, <laughs> all the nasty stuff, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a good thing they didn't hear it. Jared was being vulgar. Just like you so, guys taught me. I don't know. This might just be one of those episodes, you know? Like, I might just leave all of this in. Yeah, just don't even do an intro. This is the intro. No, the intro is pre-recorded. Oh, word? Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, doesn't watch the podcast. Welcome back on the podcast. another episode. Doesn't watch the podcast. Of the cigar. I mean, guys. I don't care if he doesn't watch the podcast, but like, at least like, stay informed about your show. You know, welcome like, know back. what's going on. <laughs> you are wait, what is it? You are tuning in to you, another episode. You are tuning in to another something like that. We should make it like a boxer like theme. You know, like oh. when they're like bringing a boxer on stage and they're like in this corner, in, in coming in, what you got? <laughs> In your right eardrum. We got Jerry Burroughs. <laughs> so, we're he's bringing his laptop into the ring. <laughs> Headphones still on. Uh, right, we, we lighten up? Yeah, we should have been lit up already. Yeah, I quit smoking so, actually. <laughs> someone asked me the other day. They quit smoking cigars. I was just like, you don't watch the podcast, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so i just recovered from the newest covid omega variant if you haven't heard of it it's because uh it's brand new i was literally the first person to get it um but i feel much better now so today we're gonna be talking about cigar lighters ways to light your cigar and since that topic is going to be relatively brief we're also going to come at you with an updated list of our top three favorite cigars at the moment. Uh, and it's perfect because last time we did this, it was us three. Zach was also in Kansas at the time. 
um i feel like he likes to miss this podcast a lot i don't know what it is like i don't know what his appeal to kansas is but i don't know maybe we'll talk about that later but it's all good anyway uh he has a second family up there Respect. yeah he's probably got a wife and some kids up there we don't know about so wouldn't that be a first family no, because he where his, his main base is uh, here. You're right, main we base is here. Family. We're his brothers. So he's cheating on us, and then he has a wife and kids up there. At least one, maybe a dog. Probably, <laughs> because when he's gone, you know. I think I smell that. That smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. So let's okay. Uh, let, let's start off with. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's start off with. Um, what we're smoking right now. Jerry, what are you smoking? This is a rare occurrence for me, actually. It's not a Padron today. It's a Kiva Weller. So far, so good. Based on the first puff, we're doing really good. Tastes really phenomenal. But uh, I'll give more of an update when we're halfway through. Maybe a quarter way through. Wow. I, it, it, you know, it depends. I saw Jerry for the first time not finish his cigar because he didn't like it. Really? What cigar was that? It was um, that Alec Bradley. Oh, the one that he absolutely destroyed on the mouth, or on the tip, or on the, what do you call it? The the, the shoulder, the head, the the top part? <laughs> it, it came like one that. Of those days. I don't chew on oh, my cigars. Like I don't chew on my cigars like you do. Dang. Something I want to try. Shots. <laughs> no, no shots. Something I'll try, just not on a podcast. I've actually gotten better about chewing the cigar. Do you still use pencils? How are they looking? Pencils? Or pens? Pins? What are you talking about? You chew a cigar. What else are you chewing on? Food? Nice save there. <laughs> I don't know what you're insinuating <laughs> here. I feel like you're, you know, you're I'm not a nail biter, like, Jared. Yeah, nail biter or chewing on like, pens and pencils. Alex no, bites, it's, he it's bites like, his thumb. <laughs> he's a, he was no, a I thumb biter my, when he was I a kid. I suck my thumb. Yo, he, bites thumb. he bites his pens but sucks his thumb. No, because like, but <laughs> I don't know, man. It sounds pretty sus to me. So when I first started smoking cigars, it was like all lip, if that makes sense. <laughs> now it's teeth. He went, he went backwards. <laughs> no, I was saying like, thank you for confirming. <laughs> like it's hard, it's hard to hold the cigar in your mouth if you're just using your lips. <laughs> like you have to use some teeth, but I was using too much teeth. So now I found the balance perfectly balanced. So what's the what ratio between lip and teeth? Honestly, he, he, he did a lot of experiments on a lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say like maybe 60, 40, 60 being lip. Mm, I, think, I don't know, actually. I think it might be 60, 40 teeth. The problem was I was like going 80, 20 teeth. And how much tongue is involved? I think you were chewing it without Preferably realizing. none. I think, I think you had been chewing it without realizing. Because I'll use my teeth to hold a cigar, but my I know I do too, but I, but I'm saying I would be like you chomp like, down like on it? biting down, you know? Like I wouldn't be holding it, I'd be biting down. Chomper. Mhm. And uh what are you smoking? I'm smoking the warped Lock Col Med nah, the Black Honey. That's what it's called. It's called the Black Honey. Uh pretty mm-hmm. good cigar. Limited release. Very good cigar. Uh, so now we know this will be on your top three later on this podcast. It's He's, possible. Maybe it has to change now. You've been smoking you never this know. a lot lately. Yeah, you got to change it now. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe it's not. Maybe it was like number four. <laughs> you know? How do we know that's not on your top three? Yeah. It's my first time ever having it. You never know. You could like just add it in like... By the time you get to the third one, you, you could do that. Yeah. That'd be a little bit of a curveball for Jared, but it would be. If his top three are not Padron, something's wrong. If I, I Okay, we should guess each other's, right? It's like, just get, let's take one guess to see if it's on the list. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I, I think maybe we should write it down. Let's write it down. I actually <laughs> don't have a list. I was going to just like. Nah, just make it up. But I'm, I can't say it out loud. Because yeah, because if he says you. like, oh, Padron 1926, I'll just be like. Nah, that's not on the list. Yeah. Um, I'll just be like, how do you know? All right, I'll make it official. I'll write it down. Uh, j- just write down one for each person. All right. You only got to write down three. All right. 
One for each person? Yeah. Wait, but doesn't the person need to have a list? Yeah, like, yeah, do, yeah. do you know what it is? No, I, like, I'm going to guess one on his list. I'm going to guess one off your list. Are you writing down your cigars? No, no. My cigars are going off my dome. Okay, so, oh, you're, you're writing it down and you're going to keep it. Yeah, I'm writing it down okay, and okay, gonna keep gotcha, it gotcha. until it's so, time. So, so we know you don't lie. Wait, what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a better idea. Like, I'll write down my list, you write down your list, and then he writes down his list. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a better idea. Psh, fucking. Make sure everyone has a pen. Here, thank you. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're making this official. All right, so. All right. And this is actually from the official Cigar right, Guys I'm not, I'm notebook. Not do, I'm not going to do this one because it's too obvious. So, but yeah, you've been smoking that a lot lately. Technically, only. This is only my third one. Three in a week? You smoke three cigars? No, in a week? no base is going to be on the list either. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me, so, this is going to be like. Edit top, my list again. Top three. For like the last three months or so, you know, what, is, what has been like your top three cigar? Z I don't even know. Let's go with the... Uh... Hmm. Right. No cheating. I make sure I'm spelling this correctly. I, mean, I don't even you know. You don't have to spell correctly. There's just so many. What should I put? Chat, what should I put on my list? There's no chat. Sorry. Put in the comments what you think we should put on our list. <laughs> um, what else is going I'm trying to think of what else I smell. I mean, you don't have to spell it correctly, Jared. Like, as long as you know what it is. Yeah. Um, you guys are not going to get mine. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like... I've been smoking a lot of the same stuff recently, which is unfortunate. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. You're probably not getting that one. Are you peeking? No. Bro is literally peeking. Okay. All right, mine's written down. Yeah, mine, mine's good. Jared, do you got yours? I need a third. Oh. Third. There's there's one you've been smoking a lot that that it's like my guess for you. It's definitely on there. <laughs> Put your own, no I'm kidding. All right, he's right. Did you get a third one? Yeah, I wrote it down, but something I had before, but never okay. had on favorites list. So. Okay. So, what was your guess for him? Uh, red meat lovers. Absolutely. Dang, yeah. good guess. It's the first one on the list. I like it a lot. Okay, that's what you could be. That's what you could talk about first. Nice. Well, what about for me? Uh, Liga. Actually, no. No. That, that would have been a good one. Actually, yeah. Damn. That would have been a good one. Um, honorary mention. We'll do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. For if, you. if I had to take another guess. Okay, sure. Take another guess. Oh man, I don't really don't know what you've been smoking. I'm not gonna take another guess. Yeah, because they're uh, actually they're I haven't I haven't smoked a lot of them. They're just like cigars that I had, and I was like, "This is definitely like ah okay okay." So that's the problem. Is the know? one you gave me for my? Is one that you gave me a while ago, like in January? I definitely did not give you any of these. Is it a Partagas? Yeah, I was going to say it's a no, no, not that one. Uh, that one's not a top three. No, if you had to guess one for Jerry, what would it be? I'm trying to think of what he's had recently. Is there a Padron on that list? Just one. I don't want. That's really that's cheating. So I, I want to guess like the other one. Um, I would say actually no. He doesn't really smoke Liga like that. Which one? Or does he? <laughs> <laughs> the Liga Nine. Yeah, I like yeah, I like Liga Nine. Dang. It's dark like like coffee, so I like it like that. You know. And your women. Nice. Absolutely. All right, get try to guess mine. <sighs> Are they all cheap ones? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. Trying to think of like when he splurged, what did he get? I think they're all pretty average price. Okay, okay. Um, I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get two guesses. I should have put an expensive one on there though. Mm, I'm gonna give you two guesses. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess. No, you didn't like that one, so I'm gonna go with the Olmec. Mm. 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 You, you did have that the other day. I was gonna say the Matapa, but he didn't really like that one, so. No, nah, I didn't. Um, what do you think, Jared? Do you have a guess? 
We said no cheap ones. So I know it's not that four dollar stick. <laughs> I should have put that though. I, I was thinking like he he smoked a lot of Project Forty um, and uh, the um, what's the foundation one? I would say the Charter Oak, the Acid Blondie, but. I think that was last list. So That's I'm like not- a stretch. That's like number four. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, you know. You, you've been going to Corona by yourself or by yourself. That's the problem. Way, he he just, doesn't invite us, so we don't know what he's smoking. Just, you know. It's like he knew this was going to happen. You, you want me to tell you guys? Well, you're about to tell us anyway. I, sh- I should have put the God of Fire Series B on there, though, because I just had that. It was great smoke. You keep saying you should have, so what's actually we, on We're going to get to that. List. That's the whole point of this video. Which is crazy because actually the point of this video is to talk about lighters. So you said Charter Oak. Yeah. And the $15 one? Yeah, but you did not say it on the guess, so it doesn't count. Okay, that's fair. But, but Charter I, Oak was on the list. Was it the $15 one though? I did Charter Oak. Or, but yeah, okay. the $15 one is good. I should have said that. Uh, I got Blind Man's Bluff oh. by Codwell, and I got the Aventuro. That actually, yeah, those are all like Mark for sure. Yeah, we, we, we know Jared got the Red Meat Lovers. Uh, Dunbarton and Trust, Red Meat Lovers, the Padrone 1964 Anniversary, and then the League of Nine. Dang. Nice. So are we going to talk about those, or is like that it? Did we we can talk about it. What did you get first, though? Okay, okay. What do you mean talk about it? You mean add more? Well, yeah, like last time we did this, we like went one at a time, talked about the cigar. We still can, but... Yeah, I mean... All right, ready for this? Yeah. My list is big baller, all right? Oh, all right, all right, all right. I got... The Davidoff Nicaragua. Okay. I, just you know, like, I, when you said baller, I figured that was going to be on there. I, I honestly just couldn't think of anything else. The Atabay Black Ritos. I thought you said you didn't like that one. No, that's the Alfonso. Oh, okay. The yeah, new yeah. Alfonso. Yeah, but yeah. I do have the old Alfonso on here. Makes sense. But the Atabay Black Ritos was really, really good. So these are favorite cigars that you like in the last few months, but I've never seen them? I would say it's like them. my top three right now. When do you, when do you smoke them? Um, my bank account will not let me. I didn't say it was like top three smoked. I'm saying like my top three favorites. Oh, shit. Um, uh, best and worst list. Best and worst list? Yeah, who had the best and who had the worst list? Well, um, I, it depends because like, I feel like... What, These are my everydays kind of things. Yeah, yeah. These so are my Yours everydays. are really expensive. Mine are just like favorites overall. Yeah. yeah. Mine are more everyday favorites also. Yeah, so like my list is probably like best cigars overall. But yours are like great, um, not budget sticks, but like yours are more budget sticks and yours are like great value sticks. Sh- should you put like Mukurasaka's like uh, unicorn on there? Exactly. <laughs> I should have put that. Yeah. So that, see, that so would make more sense for our, favorites. Ours are like opposites. Mine are like lighter smokes. Yours are like a lot heavier smokes. You say darker. I like darker and thick. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? Why were you surprised by that? Uh, you know me. On and off the podcast. Yo, what <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, we'll come back to the list after we talk about the thing we're supposed to be talking about. Oh, the lighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone actually asked us to do an episode on lighters, which we did a cigar university on lighters. So go check that out. Uh, but we're going to go a little more in depth about different ways to light your cigar. You know, what are our favorites? What we recommend you guys do. Um, so first of all, we got to talk about the misconceptions, right? We all yeah. know the misconceptions. All of them. All of them. Lay them down. Mark's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> are we still talking about torches and lighters? Lighters. So what are the misconceptions? One of them is that, um, like a torch lighter is actually bad for your cigar. Oh, people say that? Yeah. Again, he doesn't read our comments. Oh. Compared to like matches and stuff. They say and that. Cedar. Oh, that, that, that guy said used a piece of bark from the tree. Oh, yeah. We st- yeah, we still got to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, someone told us to uh, use like tree bark to light your cigar. Um, the question I have for that is how do you light the tree bark? Yeah, how do you get it to stay lit like that? No, just how, how do you light it? Oh, you just said the whole tree on fire. What do you use? <laughs> to light the tree bark. I mean, the bark is dry enough you can light it. But what do you use to light it? 
Well, you set up a campfire. A torch, of course. What? <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about butane torches is the butane is actually the most pure form of fuel because it doesn't have chemicals that change the flavor of your cigar. And actually a Zippo lighter you should not use on your cigar because that will change the flavor of your cigar. And when you're camping, a magnifying glass works very well. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work well, but it's straight sunlight, so it's very Which pure. Which is even more pure of a it's form. It's the purest form, but you have to be really patient. Like, Didn't, it's, um, it's close to enlightenment past butane. Right. Didn't Cigars Daily do that? It did work, but you gotta. it might take like 10 minutes to do, you know? Did you just let... I was like, what am I smelling, bro? Anyway. Oh. You should not have done that. It does smell weird. God, that's bad. So, yeah. don't light paper or plastic in a cigar lounge like Mark. He does it all the time. And people get pissed at him. Yeah, they could say something in my face if they're mad about it. That's the thing. They never say it to his face. They always come to me after. They're like... Yo, your friend's a freaking idiot, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. It's the truth. But, uh... You know that big guy you hang out with who's like twice my size? I didn't want to say it to his face, but I'm going to say it to your <laughs> face. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, matches. People believe that matches are the purest form uh, to light your cigars, but it's actually not true. Because at the tip of the match, you have the... What is this? Like sulfur, basically? The wick. The wick, whatever this is. So that has chemicals in it, too. So if you do want to use a wood match, you got to let it... Preferably, you need a long one, but you got to also let it kind of burn into the wood so you don't get that chemically stuff yeah. on your cigar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Another way is cedar. Yeah, lighting cedar. Do we have a piece? I doubt it. But sometimes your boxes will come with uh, cedar strips. Or sheets. So you can bend those sheets into little strips. And if you like the cedar, it's kind of like the same thing as a match, but you don't have those chemicals coming off of it. So that's actually a good way. But I mean, the, the, the whole point of it is like, oh, there you go. I find that the cedar sometimes won't stay lit long enough. Yeah. Which is why, again, just use a torch. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, when you have a torch, though, you have. Like what? Single flame, dual flame, triple flame, quad flame. Quad flame. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jared's a quad flame guy. Yeah. More the better. I like the quad. But there are problems with the quad, aren't there? Not my quad. Because yours is like not really working. <laughs> <laughs> I clean it. It needs to clean it more. You know? Okay. Yours is pretty much like a triple flame right now. Yeah. It's you got, not, it's, you got it, one that like putters. It doesn't have the output. <laughs> Yeah, the stream's getting a little lazy. Yeah, you know. He's a little overused. That's what happens when it gets old, you know? <laughs> but yeah. yeah, if you use a quad flame, it's easier to like over burn the cigar. Yeah, you could really mess up the outside. Yeah. You could like torch the outside. So like the pros of using a single flame is it's very precise and you have a much less risk of like burning your the outside of your wrapper. A lot more control. Yeah. A lot more control, yeah. My but it favorite. takes longer, but yeah. I mean, you know, just be patient. My favorite is a dual flame because you get the accuracy, especially a DuPont, you get the accuracy of a single flame with the power of a dual flame. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Get it in there, yeah. Because a lot of times you got the two flames that point to one point. Yeah. So you get the power, you know. You get the power, speed, and mobility of a single flame. <laughs> and the stamina. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. You get a quad flame. That's a lot of juice you're using. The thing about this one is like it's got a big tank. But I mean, I don't know, Jared. The size of your tank is a little concerning. Also, that quad flame is more like centered than his. I feel like. Yeah. You just got to not get too close, you know. If you want me to buy a new lighter, I'll we'll start a GoFundMe account today. <laughs> Description. The thing about using a soft flame is. Um, like with a torch, you can really toast the foot. Yeah. And the more you have the foot toasted, the more even of a burn it's going to be. But when you just use a soft flame, you'll light the cigar, but it you run the risk of it burning uneven. 
Yeah. So, which is why DuPont now has the, the torch and the flame. Or like this one right here. This San Antonio lighter. Uh, this came with the San Antonio travel humidor. Actually, very, very yeah, it's actually really nice. Yeah, it's well very nice. Yeah. Where, where's your uh, where's your? I think it's inside actually. Oh. But we just did a video on it. Um, actually, I'll put that in the end here yeah, too. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so um, the lighter is a soft flame lighter, but when you press the side, it's a torch. So what I do is I torch the foot of the cigar until I you know get it to where I want it, and then I'll take like one or two puffs with the soft flame. So that way I'm not you know running the risk of that flame burning the uh, cigar or anything like that. Because um, you just want to use, you don't want to use the flame to light your cigar. You want to use the heat from mm -hmm. the flame to light your cigar, if that makes sense. Because um, if you have the actual flame on your cigar, you run the risk of having it taste more burnt. So just use like the tip of the flame, the heat of the flame to actually light your cigar. Those are some tips for you there. Because some people get confused. They think they got all the facts. They actually have none. I think that makes a lot of sense because if you continue to use the torch too much, you might tunnel the cigar. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just run into issues. And with a torch, you have a little flamethrower. Oh, true. Well, actually, it works. Can you do that with a soft flame? It works better with a soft flame. Let me see. Oh, like, yeah, I'll do it. All right. Watch it, this, guys. We did a video on this. All right, ready? That's the flame. And here comes a oh, here comes the very nice, very nice, nice facts. That's how you blow a flame out of your cigar. Don't do it too much though, because you ruin the taste. <laughs> it's cool for pictures though. True. Yeah. yeah. Someone asked, "How do you blow a flame out of your cigar?" And I'm like, "I've never heard someone ask that." You don't like do it on purpose. I mean, you can, but I've like, always done it. I do have a picture of. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, it just kind of happens. Remember when you were lighting the fucking? It was a tabernacle. Yeah, and it was just shoot. It was probably, it was probably that was a big flame though. That was probably like three, four inch flame. It was a pretty big flame. Mm, definitely, like, definitely an above average flame. Probably like, was that like ten inches? Something like that. One of those big ones. To purge my cigar a little bit. Bleh. I haven't even had a taste of this Havana Club yet. Damn. I poured myself a hefty pour. But honestly, like, you need to drink higher proof liquor to, number one, prevent you from getting sick, and number two, to heal your sickness. I think the reason I got sick is I wasn't drinking enough. Yeah, it's called withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't withdrawal symptoms. I don't think a fever is a withdrawal symptom. It is. Is it really? I yeah. don't know, maybe. <laughs> that and shakes. I don't know. There's a whole list. Actually, I'll Google it right now. Jared just went through it. <laughs> search history. <laughs> now, there was something in my search history I was trying to find, but I don't know where I went. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to talk about that. But Jared's been going strong. No whiskey or no, no alcohol at all. It's kind of weird, you know. Have you had withdrawal symptoms? Nah. Exactly. I don't think... It, it, I do miss it's the in, flavor. It's all in the mind, bro. Like the caramel flavor, a little bit of spice. Mm. Yeah. Like, the I taste. just... I, I, I now limit myself to, like, just one. Just for the experience. And then when I'm done, I'm done. I do I do, I do, do miss, like, the first five episodes where we just started drinking. And got, like, drunk. You mean you? <laughs> no, I mean, we used to kill, like, a whole bottle on McAllen. Remember? We had, like, the conspiracy theory one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we yeah. just passed the bottle. I mean, we were just, like, whoever came to our mind, we just said it. That that was fun, yeah. We, we don't have to go that hard, but I do miss like when we did try whiskey. There was a couple times every single episode. There was a couple times Jared went pretty hard. The, <laughs> the problem was when you'd show up a bottle in. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> okay, I shove a what? I said you'd show up a bottle in. Oh man, the only time I really did that was when we had a guest on you guys are calling me i'm like what the hell are you calling me for and then like i remember mark called me he's like you're late i'm like i did invite this guest i gotta be here right away and i came here and it, it ended up working out just fine but uh <laughs> i think we were mad at you for like a little while we, we were mad wait there was was that with uh the, 
the guest that's not like not our not our friend. Like he's not he's a friend. He's not in our friend group though. I mean, these are guests that we've always met outside the podcast. They're not in our friend group. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Sam Lake friend. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. not I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about um, one Sam Lake friend. Uh, he is a, he has a cigar company. Oh uh, uh, no no not that one. That one you were fine. Well, that one I, that was the only time I ever came here. I ever you were late. I was late, but because of that, that is the only reason. Because of like the night before. Oh, uh, that's no, the only reason. No, I'm talking about you were drinking and then you showed up to the podcast. Damn. Which time? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> this one didn't even air. This was with uh, two two guests. I don't know. I it never been a, on one with two guests. It was Matt and Donovan. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't hear that one. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad one. Uh, that was like early, early, early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it was super early. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like recently. I was like, no, Ooh. no, no, no. No, that was the last time though. Yeah, that that was a bad one. Yeah, we, we... is that still in the back burner? Wait, why no. was I on it? If we had two guests, where were you? Because it was like early on. I think you showed up. I think it was Zach wasn't here, so it was five of us. Oh, uh, we had the oh we had the white stool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. And you had the stool. stool. Yeah, I, I was super you were, late. You were late I was too. Super late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Because I remember half the podcast was going great. And then <laughs> Jared comes in like... Because <laughs> like, he was fine when he showed up, but then the next drink like put him overboard. Yeah. And sure, he was yeah. just like... Oh, good times. We should have like, a sign that says like drink limit rule or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> just We need to get like a drink responsibly sign from like Mick Ultra or whatever. Not Bud Light. I'm trying to think where I was. It was a Wednesday. I probably sitting at Corona all day, like, oh, it's I, 1 p.m. I, I legitimately think you were. Yeah, I was like, it's 1 p.m. I might as well just sit here on my laptop all day to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. We really got to redo the podcast where we did it at uh, Zach and Mark's house with, our, with the coffee. Mm. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I there was, was actually that. really good conversations there, but, you know, it just didn't happen. Yeah, that's when we had technical issues still. I feel like we haven't had any technical issues in a while. Yeah. Exactly. So I think it's it worth doing it again. Yeah. When yeah, yeah we, did like a, we did like a morning smoke. <laughs> Some of us did a morning smoke. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't finish that cigar I brought you. It was like really spicy. Oh, yeah, it's too much. Too much in the morning. It's good, though. It is good, yeah. It's a really good the cigar. Nika Reaper, yeah. What? The Nika Reaper. It's really uh, okay. spicy. Have you tried that cigar that we got for free from uh from Sergio? Oh yeah, he, we had it that night. The you know the red label. <coughs> Excuse me. It looked kind of like an Indian looking thing. We were at Sergio's. We did the podcast, and then he gave us a cigar. Oh okay. Went to Corona and smoked it. That w- that was a strong cigar. Oh yeah, you did. It was pretty you spicy. Yeah, you didn't show up. Like we were all there. Yeah, that that was a pretty strong cigar. Yeah, pretty spicy. I would say strong, like not full body, but it was definitely spicy. Yeah, I felt full body for sure. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe because it was my first smoke. Probably yeah, because we all smoked that you know on the podcast, and then we had that after. So yeah, probably wasn't that bad. You didn't smoke while being Mr. Producer. I did, but. He didn't have it that night. I, have, I had it the next night. Oh, I guess we were invited to that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You, well, you haven't been going as much anymore. Oh, I've been waiting for your invite. <laughs> I have been Jer- Jerry's been grinding. Jerry's been on that grind. No, but seriously, if you like me, I'll come. You know, I invited you a couple times. No, I mean, like last night, me and him were uh, making videos for the podcast. And then Tyler calls him. And then you don't tell us. And then you put this, and make this huge group chat like, Akron, if wants to come. <laughs> and we're like, we're already home. Like, we were, we were working. No, Tyler told me about you guys. Oh, he invited me. Oh, well, I knew you guys were together. Oh, I knew. I, see, I knew see, I knew this would come up. I knew you guys were together. <laughs> there's, al- there's always information that's missed. Well, it's funny because, like, the other day I invited you to Corona. Hey, we're going to go to Blender Barrel, then go to Corona. And you're like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I got to go do something. I'm like, okay. Then later on, you call him, and then like we're all like in different places now. Yeah, um, I, I thought you two were still together. We were. Yeah. So it was, yeah, uh, we had the Scar Guys group chat for a reason. Just if you want to, you know. That the problem is sometimes people send invites directly. 
Yeah. Like sometimes Mark or Tyler will just text me instead of texting the group chat. Oh. Um, makes sense. I only do that if like I only do that if I know you guys are together. <clears throat> like if I know for a fact you guys are together, like I I'll just text one of you. Yeah, but why not text the group chat anyway? I I, I usually call though. Uh depends. I would say usually. I wouldn't throw that word out there. When I called the other day, I was like on a sales call. You know, like this is Mark speaking. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, you want to grab a stick? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, Jared and I have just been on that grind, you know? You understand. Cause you're too busy putting in work for another business. Yeah, <clears throat> bullshit. Yeah, you should quit. Yeah, I'm recording right now. Hey, boss, if you're watching this, I'm out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that you quit, um, there's no money. We can edit that out and put something in there. Uh, not the breeding. <laughs> hey, <laughs> boss, now that he's speaking, we'll put some like, you know, something really, really profane in there. <laughs> <laughs> so even worse than what he actually said? Yeah, but not bad enough to get him fired. <laughs> Fair enough. He would just be like, I can't fire me, I quit. Thumbnail is Mark quits his job mid podcast. <laughs> That's basically clickbait. That might, yeah, might get us views, but you have to sacrifice a lot there. Nah, nah, I mean, nah, he'd be fine. He'd be fine. He'd be like, Mark, what is this? I'd be like, oh, it's a joke, man. Bro, I love this. It's job. just a prank. It's a prank, bro. Relax. I was it's just, just I was, my paychecks. It's I was a social mad. experiment. <laughs> I was just mad after I drove to Miami for three hours and nothing happened. <laughs> you should have picked me up. I'd been like, let's do it. <laughs> Jared, Jared walks in with him. He's like, hmm. This is unacceptable. New client? <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I even here, man? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I slept the whole way. <laughs> Get back in the car. Good. <laughs> Not hit him. <laughs> Put him in the trunk. <laughs> Get everyone like, what the fuck? You should have just like went somewhere in Miami. Like, you had an hour to spend. Like, go to cigar know, shop. I'd rather be, be back over here. Yeah, but go to Havana, get some rice and beans. I wasn't in Miami. I was Sell in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Same shit. Well, to get to the Havana, he'd have to drive like a whole other hour. That is fair. Yeah. There's cigar shops in Fort Lauderdale. No, no, I'm saying to get some like little Havana, like some food. I think, um, real uh, food. The part I was in, even the hard rock was still like, no, 30 minutes. The hard R? Hard rock. Oh. <laughs> that, actually, that would be cool if we, we went there. That would be great. The hard rock? That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. We go to the Davidoff? Because now there's sports betting now. Like, it's all legal and shit. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You could do anything there. <clears throat> anything? Yeah. I like it. I'll tell you what, though. At the casino, for some reason, cigars smoke three times as fast. Is that. <laughs> it's a true story based on evidence and studies well, they pump oxygen there for one two you're fucking nervous and you're throwing money down <laughs> I was playing roulette this is it. I was playing roulette with Zach and we're smoking we're probably smoking like probably a Robusto or a Toro and I kid you not like 20 minutes in I look down and I'm like holy cow I'm at the nub like legitimately and it still tasted great yeah, they lose a hundred bucks. I'm like, here's a free whiskey. You know, Actually, just make me feel better. I made a hundred bucks. No, uh, Hard Rock doesn't give you free drinks. Oh, it's not like Vegas. Nah, you only get free drinks if you're in the high roller section. So, which makes sense because like, so you need to be betting like a hundred. If I'm betting a hundred bucks on roulette, like, I really don't deserve a free drink. Well, I don't know about that because there's been times where I've been in the Hard Rock and if like I, I was I've been up right. And if I had free drinks, I would have probably stayed and lost all my money. Yeah, that's true. Try, it works. Yeah. So that, that's all. That's the whole reason they give you that in first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you feel you feel good about losing, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Well, I would have spent this money on alcohol anyway, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, we, which is why Vegas does it because they want to keep you there for as long as possible. Yeah, but I think that that whole area has got like way more money to spend. I think the Hard Rock in Tampa could definitely give out free drinks. No, they can, yeah. I'm saying, like, that whole... There's probably more money in Vegas than there is, like, just at the Hard Rock. You know oh, what yeah. Saying? I think they should just give free drinks to anybody at the card games. You know, and not the... 
Not the slots. Well, maybe they make more money off the slots because people are there all day. Uh, yeah. Some of those guys are putting in like thousands of dollars too. Yeah. Don't gamble. By the way. Not a good idea. I don't know. I just saw a guy turn a hundred dollars into a thousand dollars. Dang, that's like a hundred percent markup, dude. He did one hand on blackjack. Don't quote me on that. One hand on blackjack got a hundred dollars. He did one thing a roulette. Then he got like uh, I think it was like seven hundred dollars, seven hundred twenty dollars, something like that. And then he did a uh, one hand of baccarat. You just gotta be for five hundred dollars. One hand for. Ooh. You just gotta be disciplined, you know. But were you there? Or you see this on TikTok? It was on TikTok. Yeah. Probably, just like that. Probably like a, a, pl a plant employee, the recording employee. I feel like if if you like are one of those influencers that goes and makes videos like on the slots or whatever, I guarantee you, if they notice, they'll like up the odds in your favor. I think that's illegal. Yeah. What is? Isn't like all that business basically legal? You know, you actually go online and see what the odds are on uh, every game in every casino. So you're telling me you don't think that they would up the odds, like, or like give you better odds? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, it's, it's so regulated. Yeah, I don't know. I'd see it happening. I'm not saying it's not wrong, but I, I know for sure Steak does that. Regardless, it's a it's kind of a good business model because like if you lose your hundred bucks on the slot and that video goes viral you probably made a thousand bucks on that video you know what i'm saying like yeah. you know those guys that do it like all the time i know uh steak gives out free money to influencers mm. to bet on steak yeah steak.com like you know where like dreg bet does sports betting and stuff oh yeah yeah i know for a fact they give out free money so they get it like, no. that makes sense i guess yeah hmm so when are we going? I don't know. Isn't Vegas next month? Yeah. Man, I think I start booking now. Yeah. Where do you guys want to stay? Uh, Trump Hotel. We can get like a huge suite and just split, I guess. That'd probably be cheaper. I think we got a free room. Oh, I forgot about that. Do we? Yeah, I forgot about that. Zach. Zach knows guy who knows guy who knows oh, guy. Oh, did he actually get it this time though? That was a joke? I thought he was serious what? about it. No, I think he, he has a free room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, think, I think it's like through Hilton, but then I think they're technically part of Hilton or something like that. Oh, really? I mm -hmm. don't know. So, I, something like that. I don't know. Where, wherever the free room is, I'm down. I mean, we're going to be busy like the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Is it a walking distance of PCA? The Trump Hotel? I don't think so. Nah, they're going to Uber it. Yeah, but I think like... My, I, th I don't think the Uber would be too expensive. One of us can just drive know. there. They get pretty pricey down there. Probably. We'll, yeah, we'll see. Might, might be cheaper just to hire a hooker to drive you. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So like... You pay her like, can you just drive me here? <laughs> The Ubers were booked. <laughs> it's like 50 bucks an hour for anything. All right, just try me. <laughs> Not a bad idea. The hugger or the Ubering? Whatever's cheaper. <laughs> it's PCA towards the like, end of the month? Yeah, it's towards the end. Not good. Uh, we're going to talk about our top three cigars a little bit more? Yeah, we could talk about that. Yeah, let's do it. I want to hear more about Mark's hooker, but yeah, we'll go back to it. <laughs> it's our hooker. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she's driving all Hey, of she's us. just our driver, okay? Yeah, that's a very demeaning term. Yeah, she's a driver. Hooked on driving. You, you think it would do that, though, like, realistically, if you were like, look, I'll pay you for the hour, just drive me here? I don't see why not. Like, what's your hourly rate? Okay. How long is it going to take to get from here to here? 30 minutes? Okay, I'll pay you half... Of your hourly rate. Plus like a two dollar tip. <laughs> we could we could start our own Uber fare thing. Like hire hookers to drive? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. 
We're like rehabilitating them. <laughs> it's not such a bad idea. If like they're in a bikini the whole time, drive you around. You're like, oh my god, it's so cool. The bikini taxi is what we call it. Yeah, bikini taxi or something like that. The bikini problem, cab. Yeah, there's. But you gotta, you gotta I, I foresee issues with that though. You gotta have like a like a bulletproof glass. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I can see how I get pretty dangerous. There's, there's, I could definitely foresee issues with that. Yeah. Pull over, baby. <laughs> no, it's not that kind of taxi. We're a publicly traded company. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's talk about our cigars. Red Meat Lovers. Great steak by... I, I believe it's our newest one, isn't it? Not their newest one, but it's relatively newer. Uh, the Red Meat Lover. $15 stick. I'm not mistaken. That's like 17. I think it's 17, yeah. yeah. Biodynamics, bro. Yeah. But it's a great cigar. It's definitely unique. It's like... I don't know. The only way I can describe it is like the name makes sense. Like Red Meat Lover. Red Meat. It kind of like tastes like... Some charred ribs straight off the grill. Yeah, I would you know, definitely like, eat it with like, a... Like bitter notes, but like delicious bitteriness a little, little spice to it yeah exactly a little seasoning and that box press just makes it all the all the better yeah i'll probably buy one after this makes sense i'll just wait for the mark text <laughs> i'm going after i'm it. curious what you think about that cigar placentia or the cohiba the well, actually both what do you think about the cohiba weller um i'm, I'm not gonna lie it's okay uh not a fan? I, I'm not, shocked. I'm not going to buy it. You wouldn't buy it again? No. I, I, mean, I didn't really buy it the first. I mean, you wouldn't it buy came it in like a random again. pack I bought. You know. What was that? What was the name of the Alec Bradley cigar that you had yesterday? I remember, like I was, $25 I was in, cigar. I wasn't at Corona yesterday. Or not yesterday. You know what I mean. I feel like the reason that they're putting all these like more expensive cigars in the packs is because no one's buying them. That they want, yeah. Because they used to just put strictly like really cheap cigars in there but now yeah, there's like, the Perdomo i had with you no 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 no, no. no you had the uh, alec bradley oh, with both of you guys uh, yeah the one that you absolutely destroy with your mouth oh this one yeah, yeah. what is the name of that can you can you zoom in <laughs> alec bradley cigar company fine and rare tin tobacco blend I think that might be the name. Look up Alec Bradley. 2023 20, issue. The label is huge. Um, yeah, I am curious to think what what you think of that uh, Placentia when you do smoke it. The Placenta might be good or bad. So people love them, man. Not really sure. I've, I've, yeah, I've heard that. the I think that's the Fuego or something. It's really good. I can't even read the label, actually. It's like B, except for the B. I think, I think it's just a I fine think it's and fire rare. rare yeah. 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 Okay, that's it. It was weird because I, I used the uh, Zycar cutter to cut it, and like right when I did that, the cap came off, and it just started, started unraveling. Yeah. Because I don't chew my cigars, so I don't know how that would happen. Yeah, maybe just back instruction. We had a whole argument with uh, well, one I should guy have asked for a new one. Because we didn't put Placencia in our top five favorite sticks. Dang, we didn't do it again. Oh, no. Shout so, out. No, this is top three, not top five. Oh, yeah, yeah. So All it right. could be four or five. We it could know. be. Who knows? Who knows? We should talk about it. Who knows? Did you guys know they make Gurkha? They make a, some Gurkha buns? They make a lot of cigars. Yeah. They, I think they make more cigars for other brands than they do their own. Oh, they're pretty big now. Yeah, but they still work for other brands more. I think because they, they, they have a lot of cigars, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Compared I mean, to what they're making. Yeah, they, I mean, they have a big farm. Yeah. What else has Jared got? Uh, the Patron 1926. <laughs> yeah, Need we say more? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've been saying it for like a year. Liga 9. That's a great cigar. I think it's gotten better too than it was recently. It went through a little rough patch, but I think it's come back. It did, because I remember buying one and you're like, really? You bought that? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they used to be really good and then they kind of went down for a little bit. Quality control is eh. But I think they're back on the game now. For sure. Um, Davidoff Nicaragua. We just did a video on that too. That's like the only Davidoff that's been super consistent. At least for me. 
Yeah, I've not had that off in a long time. The Out of Bay Black Ritos, um, if you can find it, you're going to take out a second mortgage for it. But it is really good. How much is it? 60, 75 bucks? So it was 60, but then um, because of the like how limited it is, all the shops decided to sell it for like 90, 98 bucks. What was the one we had at Scars in the Ad that was 75? 75? No, $75. They said they only like one of five stores locally to carry it. I think it was the Black Ritos, but that was 60 at the time. And then the Alfonso, which is $50. Still pretty pricey, but it also is, I think, a great cigar. Hmm. For Connecticut, too. Hmm. Hmm. Man, I think if you're going to smoke Connecticut, man. Macanudo. Get something <laughs> cheap. Hey, man, I like the, the White Series Macanudo. It's 22 bucks though. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually think the Aventura... But super light. That's steep. I, I actually think the Aventura has a similar profile to uh, the Alfonso. It's just not like quite there yet, you know? It's like... Great for the price. It's like a... It's like an eight-year versus like... A 14-year whiskey, mm. I think. I would say like 18-year, but you know. Mm, I wouldn't even go that high. Ah, yeah, I'd put it up there. I, it's like the... No, I don't know. You're right, you don't know. What what whiskeys are eight years that you know about or have drank recently? Um, uh, besides the Hoot & Young one we have I was about us, to say. I was about to say Hoot & Young. Behind us. Which, that is a great whiskey. Those are we cheap. actually haven't opened it up, actually. Those are two-year whiskeys. Which is actually very good for two-year whiskey. Yeah, yeah, they're a little hot for my palate, but... Yeah, it was ready, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're honestly the best uh, whiskeys I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually are... Uh, no, they're, they're good for the... All it, jokes aside, they are really good. Yeah, honestly, for the year, be, for being aged only two years, they're, pretty, they're really good. I think if they made, like, a... Like an eight year, this would be really good. You're gonna have to wait eight years. Well, well the brand even new. have to wait six years. Oh well, yeah, but if they made a twelve year, I mean, they could always just find a good eight year aged whiskey and put the label on. But they have their yeah. whiskey. If they just aged it a little longer, no, yeah, exactly. I think it would be yeah that much better. So in six years from now, check out our episodes and look for the updated Tenth Mountain Rye whiskey discussion what we should do is we should um buy the small barrels because you know in a small barrel it ages like twice as fast pretty much yeah there's like a whole calculation on like we how talked about this and then we're just gonna <laughs> pour all the whiskeys inside no but what we should do is we should take like mccallum 12 yeah for example and make it 18 and yeah make it 18 that would be cool so but would that still take six years or nine years uh or would it no be like- it's because it's mccallum 12 it would take uh, oh, six true, years to be 18, true, true, true. so it would take three years, yeah. Ah, okay. Hmm. That'd be a long experiment. Plus, with inflation, <laughs> it would be super cheap at the time. Yeah. You know, oh, it was a $90 bottle, but now the price for McCallum 12 is like, you know, 180 Hopefully in three years, we're shooting like an 8K as well, you know. But that would be a cool experiment to run. I want people to see the veins on the cigars and the pores of my well, face. Well, we should do. We should do when they, well, when they watch our episodes. You know, we should do I like think it'd be a uh, really great experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like the most Jared's ever spoke ever. <laughs> so anyway, okay, we should do. Uh, let's get a barrel and age something for six months, so AKA a year, and then see how it turns out. Like we'll try it then, compare it, and compare it. How big is the barrel going to be, and does it come like? Are they scorched or pre like? Yeah, yeah. You can buy them on Amazon. They're already like scorched on the inside. I had one, but um, well, my nephew was like two. He like grabbed it and threw it, and broke it. So they're fragile. So we just got to keep it like they're not, they're not fragile. But if you throw it, you know, it's probably gonna break. Damn, that's a, that's a powerful two year old. <laughs> He's a unit. Yeah, I mean, it was only like this big, like you know. So I guess it's enough for us all have like a drink. No, 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 no. it's like it'll, a- it'll fit a whole bottle. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it. I guess. Yeah. So we'll have like two bottles. We'll have. We should do Belvini 14. That's what, actually that's what we should do. We'll get two bottles, put one in the barrel, and then after six months, we try the bottle that's not been aged. Take a sip of that, and then take a sip of the aged one. I still have like four, four or five bottles of Belvini 14. Did you still want to buy one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I haven't touched them since me and Zach killed a bottle. So <laughs> Zach killed a bottle? <laughs> Is that when you decide to stop drinking? No. I don't know. I'm just making a joke. No, that was... That was like after Hefe, then after Corona, and then we killed the whole bottle after that. It's pretty... Dang. Hey, Belvini 14, you guys turned me on to it. It's really good. Yeah, it's my favorite one. McCallum 12, McCallum 18, Belvini 14. In fact, they have Belvini 19. They have every, almost every year at Corona. They have a 19? 19. Yeah, I, I just, tried it. Is yeah. it good? He has a picture of it on his phone. <clears throat> um, it, it's good, yeah. It's good. We have the 15 year, too. Yeah, we do. The Madeira or whatever it is, cask. True. I have 25. True. When, when, when did we say we were going to open that? Wasn't it 3,000 subscribers? No. <laughs> Wasn't it 60 or uh, 30,000 TikTok followers? Hell no. <laughs> it's a $900 bottle. I think, I think he did say 10,000 When did you get it? Off YouTube. I got it when we saw in the restaurants. Uh, I believe he did say 10,000 YouTube subscribers, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would do it for that. Yeah. We don't have to kill it. No, just have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with one. Yeah. yeah. I would say, you know, 2,500, but whatever. You know, 25. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We could do, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, technically Mark didn't buy it, you know? My store did, which is inherently me. Hmm. All right, fair enough. It's a nice looking bottle, though. It comes yeah. in a nice uh, wooden case. I still have that uh, special McCallan from the McCallan that I haven't opened up yet. I forget. It's like oh, the rare cast. No, it's like it has some weird name to it. This time of year, it's like um, like of the night. Like McCallum of the Night or McCallum something. It comes in a huge box. Oh, really? Yeah. How much you pay for that? I don't remember. I bought like four balls at once. I don't know. <laughs> Gary's Tower was like 3000 <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a deal. I mean, it's yeah, still yeah. sitting there. I haven't drank them. That's pretty cool. How many subscribers? Uh, we can just do it now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, I mean, I'll be very honest. It's okay. It's not nearly as good as a McCallum 12 and McCallum 18. Oh, okay. It's just mm -hmm. a different flavor. Gotcha. It's not like super... No. Oh, you've opened it up already. No, I haven't. It's, oh, a, it's okay. actually in plastic, in the box. Oh, but, but you tried, tried it. it. You tried it. Yeah, at the sampling or whatever. Mm. Oh, was it wasn't a rare cask? No. It's definitely not rare. It's brand new. It's like it just came out. Like It's not aged or anything like that. Oh, you think it's... We have one, too. Um, oh, I forgot about that. We still have that, too. Yeah, we were just going that at one point. That is a, I think that is a rare cask. No, it's not a rare cask. Rare cask is in the big wooden or big red box. It's, it's like got the leather. What's we'll the we'll have to look? It's like earth something. Yeah. They do it like every year or something. Every yeah. two years, something like that. We'll have to look after. And then we still have the bottle of Old Forester. We Forrester. should just drink that. Yeah, it's, like, it's called McAllen 12. Let me see. Night on Earth 2023. It's like 140 bucks. That looks uh, like. Because of a weird box. I do, I do remember you buying it. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. It's cool though. That's not a bad price. 130. Yeah. yeah. How, much is the, how much is the price on the McCallan 18? It's like 200, right? 250? 384. 384. That's Damn. why I remember buying it. That all depends who you get a deal or you can figure out how to buy it wholesale. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to get it. You don't have to buy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like right here, I can get the same thing for 100 bucks. 90 bucks here. You know, it's like. Oh, so the value of that did not hold. Oh, it just came out though, so it's like it says introduced in 2021, but released in 2023. It says no age or anything that I know. Interesting. Drinks you my soda. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll take out the Macallan and we'll drink that. Mm. Celebrate our. 3,500 subscribers. I saw a bottle of Belvini 50 for sale. It was only 54,000. Okay. What? Belvini 50 year. Where do you see this? Online. Oh. We do sell that 150 year old Forester. Yeah, I think it's like 700 a bottle now. Oh, really? Yeah. It's getting up there. 
we got it for free, so I mean, profit's profit. Yeah, about 10 years, it would probably be worth a decent amount. Yeah. Because they don't make it anymore. They only made it for that one. And that was the most sought after batch, apparently. Yeah, we, we got batch number three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to hold on to that. See what happens. What's like, the one bottle where if you buy the bottle, the bottle costs money too? Is that Louis or? Oh, King Louis? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah that, that's cognac though. Well, I, one I of these days, cognac. I just want to walk into Corona and buy a bottle of Macallan M. <laughs> a little 5K. <laughs> just to do it. And then we save the bottle of that, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it is a decanter. You could use it for other whiskeys. Yeah, it's super nice. Yeah. yeah. Just like put that in the locker. Yeah, they only have that bottle at the store, but if you buy one, they'll send somebody over from uh, either Sand Lake or downtown. Is that like we were getting, like, we have our couch seats, we're all dressed exactly, up. Exactly. Someone's know. like, who's it for? You know, they put yeah. it out for us. and It's all about the experience. <laughs> That's what we're paying it for, I mean. Yeah. Like, I want, you better have white gloves on. I actually don't even know what's in it. So it's McCallan M. Is it also 30 age year, like McCallan 30? I don't think they disclose the age. Yeah, so it's probably gonna count at eight in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be really good. Yeah, I mean, I've had it, but I just don't know. What's well, better than that or the McCallum Thirty? That's good. So I made a mistake by buying a single shot of McCallum M once. Then I made a double mistake buying a double McCallum Thirty, but they didn't give me the discount on it. So the tab of the double McCallum Thirty was like in the thousands. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know that. But okay, so which one was better though? I don't remember because. I was already drunk by that. McAllen then. M, I had like w- like one of the first drinks of the night, and then I had the double McAllen thirty after finishing my McAllen twelve or eighteen. So I like, oh, you had those all on the same night? No, no, separate nights. Oh, but okay. I'm saying like when I had the McAllen thirty, I already had like it someone your first someone drink. got me a McAllen twelve, and I had a McAllen eighteen. Yeah, and I was like, let's just try a McAllen thirty, so I at least say I've had every single McAllen up until then to see what I liked. I don't. I mean, it was very good, very smooth. I've heard the McAllen thirty is better. But what I should have done is just start with the McCallum 30 or like clean my palate with water first to have a like yeah. good, clear distinction. Yeah. But those are very celebratory drinks, you know. Yeah, they are, yeah. I've heard the 30s better. Yeah, I'd probably... And that, oh, and actually I tried the Reflection, the McCallum Reflection. Do they have that? At, huh? Yeah, I think that's like 350. Are these all the same three bottles on the very top? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a McCallum M and then McCallum Reflection. I've been trying to get into more other things too, like Lagavulin, and like trying to change it up, oh, yeah, more good. peaty whiskeys, and like not so you know, it's not always just drinking the same thing every time. Yeah, I'm not a huge peaty guy, but the Lagavulin is pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Belvini had that peat, and it was terrible when it first came out. And how's this? I mean, you've been drinking this rum a little bit. Would you ever branch off and try something different? Like. For rum? Yeah, I mean, like, when we go to Corona or we go out, and said we always have whiskey, especially scotch. I mean, I'm always down to try meat. something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some people would drink uh, Diplomatico when they smoke a cigar, but that, to yeah. me, that, those don't really pair well. <sighs> those are so sweet to me, though. Yeah, me too. I so do think sweet. this is pretty sweet, but... Yeah, but it's enjoyable, right? We've all had it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not a huge rum I, guy, to be honest. I but. feel like a lot of people who order Diplomatico at Corona put, like, a... Like a, I think an orange in there yeah. to kind of like balance it out. A I feel bit. like because this is so light, yeah, it's not too sweet. Like it almost just tastes kind of like a scotch, but not oh, as yeah. like peaty. I mean, it's only thirty-seven point five percent. Yeah, but it's not like over. The flavor is not overbearing. It's it's. I think it's very close to a scotch. Probably a little more sweet than a scotch, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's a scotch with less of the peatiness. All the sweetness. It's got 63 calories per pork. There you go. Even less. It's even less than scotch and bourbon, vodka. I thought rum had a ton of sugar in it. I thought it would too. But if you mix Maybe it- it's cognac. Maybe cognac has all the sugar. Rum has sugar too. I think this rum might be less sugar though. Maybe. If you mix it with a soda, I'm assuming that's what it's saying, you get 209 calories. Dang. People tell me that like drinking agave based tequila is way healthier than drinking scotch because the the dark liquor will like metabolize into sugar. I don't know if that's true or not. It already has all the calories. 
Wouldn't the agave metabolize into sugar too? But, but if it's natural, it's not like processed as much as it is fermenting. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think liquor is liquor. Yeah. 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 Like at the end of the day, is it really that much better for you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. All I know is like when I drink good tequila, I feel better than after drinking like, you know, scotch. Really? Not whiskey. me. Not me at all. I usually feel better afterwards. I feel way worse. Now, by really? my mixing or just by itself? I'm talking just by itself. Yeah, by itself. Okay, that makes sense. Because if you mix, then it's, it's all over. Yeah, yeah. If I mix, like, if, even if I do an old fashioned, like, I can only do one. If I do a second one, I'll feel like kind of bad. That's why I always say no sugar. Yeah. Because you never know if the bartender's going to put, like, you know, table sugar. I think I'm going to start doing that. Or, you know, whatever. Because I got one with you one time, and I was like, oh, just do the same thing. And it still tasted really good. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, the bitters and the orange do it. I mean, you get sugar from the little cherry, which I never eat anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll eat your cherry. Yo, what's us? We have to edit that the out. Dark cherries. <laughs> yeah, the Lombardi cherries. Yeah. yeah. Not those red cherries you get from Snake yeah, the, and Shake. Yeah, those are just sugar. Exactly. Yeah, that's gross. You can steak and shake. We, we it's been a long time since we did a Waffle House run. That mm. is true. It's been a long time. That was quite a phase. Yeah, I yeah. only went once. I went back to the other one not so long ago. Really, me and Tyler used to go steak. You know, yeah. That was like a ritual after Corona for you guys. Me and Tyler, yeah. Me and Tyler would just go sometimes after I got off work. He'd be like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Coming home." He'd be like, "You want to go to Waffle House?" I'm like, "Sure." Well, actually, we need to do first before we do that. Is uh, good as Longhorns. Get that twenty-five ounce steak you keep buying. Oh man, Longhorns is good, man. I don't care what anybody says. No, I'm saying we got to go there. Yeah, I'm down. Dude. I love Longhorn. This is when we'll when I'm eating again, or when we do the keto again, whatever. But dude, man, the fourteen ounce steak is. Oh, it's fourteen ounces, up. not twenty five. I think they ha- they have like a really big cut. Uh, but I usually get like I think it's a twelve or fourteen ounce ri- uh, ribeye. We guys are going to these places where it's like. Finish the meal, or you pay a hundred bucks. Okay, so this let a, me do it. There's a sushi place in Winter Park where it's a hundred individual pieces of rolls, and if you finish it, you get it for free. Yeah. It's you and one other person. Hey, when we did the cut, and, but is it like fifty bucks? It's fifty bucks. Yeah, but the amount you get is like definitely way over fifty bucks, fifty dollars. Yeah, it's still worth it, even if you can't finish it. Like it's worth the yeah, price. Exactly. I know I can finish a whole boat by myself. Damn. Yeah. So like, uh, I know, was that two I know, of those? Two yeah. tiers? I could do it. I know who I'm doing the, the challenge with. Darren. <laughs> We're going to kill it. Yeah. See, I right. would do it and then just be like, oh, man, I didn't finish. $50 worth of sushi for the table. You know? Yeah, imagine eating for free. Like, you're like yeah. I mean, yeah, even better. I, just, I know I couldn't eat that much. You think, you think they would cut you off if you did it like every week? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm, yeah, we got to figure out the limits. <laughs> Just Anything. throw on some, some sunglasses. Yeah, just wear different clothing. Anytime you're feeling poor, like, let me get the fucking challenge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, like, more homeless people just don't, like, go in there, just finish the whole thing, eat for free. Why don't you see that? There used to be this place where they'd give you a one-pound beef burger with one pound of fries. Oh, my God. Was like, that Beef O'Brady's? No, it was actually located on... No, it wasn't Beef O'Brady's. It was uh, located on campus. Now there's a Chili's there at UCF. And if you finished it, you didn't have to pay for it. Wow. Damn. People, they need to bring back food challenges. Yeah, because it, it gets people in the in the store. And yeah. most people fail anyway. I was just saying, yeah. most people don't do it. Yeah. Or we can't finish it, you know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Most people don't yeah. end up doing it. I saw my picture on the wall at the restaurant and be like, yeah, Jared beat the challenge. It's like, yeah, this is 2022, 2023. Out of all four of us, it would definitely be you. Like, I'd have to put all my money on you. We just got to find these places. You know, you know what I think ruined it? That one show, uh, Man vs. Food? Mm. Because I think a lot of people like went out and like just hunted for these things, you know? Maybe, yeah. yeah but did, didn't he, he didn't do challenges, but it was all like, he ate the most random stuff. No, Man vs. Food, he would always do a challenge at the end. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he'd go to different places, but the last part would be like, oh, the challenge of, eat, you know, this massive whatever. Yeah, or like a super spicy whatever. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what is that uh, spicy thing where all the celebrities go on on, on YouTube? Oh, oh, the hot uh, sauce thing? Dude, if we ever went on that, it, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I could, I could definitely down the whole thing, I think. Well, if he did really fast and it had a whole bunch of milk, he'd be good to go. But he, he talks slowly. You're like, well, dying. yeah, it, it's a whole hour of that. Dude, I could eat spicy, man. 
I could eat spicy. Yeah, I would put Mark on that for sure. I go to Indian when I go to Indian places. I tell them, give me the give me the Indian spicy. It's so good. And that Indian spicy is it's no joke. That's no joke. Goes down nice. Yeah. Doesn't come out nice. Yeah. You know, when I don't text for a whole day, you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Jerry's been fighting a battle all night. What to finish this? No, I'm saying that's when you don't text. Oh. Um. Well, that new Indian restaurant where he took Ari to, it's phenomenal. It's so good. They're good, yeah. Their, their menu is huge. They even have like Indian pizza. They have like Gee, really? Indian taco. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff. Yeah, just don't get their uh, chicken wings. They're, they're bad. Mm. Yeah, they have chicken wings. They got yeah. everything. Hmm. Yeah, the one international? Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, wow. It's brand new, super nice, super clean. I went there. I didn't see all that stuff. I just saw like the traditional, you know. Well, they have like two or three menus. It's huge. Yeah. That's the thing about it, though. It's, it's clean, you know? Sometimes yeah. you go in, like, an Indian place, and it's always, like... Authentic? No, nah, it's, yeah, it's always just, like, a little dirty, I feel like. And they, they give you, like, extra rice if you want, extra shit, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, the non-cost money, but yeah. yeah. yeah they'll charge you for the rice. Well, I'll, okay. I remember last time. Oh. They might have missed it. But I remember when I first went there, um, they gave me, like, no chicken. They gave me like three pieces of chicken. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so I stopped, I didn't go there for a while, and then I went there again. You didn't say anything? I, I ordered it to go food. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, have the, you don't know until you open it at home, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but, like uh, getting to go food from Chipotle, or like ordering it online. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Like Albanian last name? Fuck this guy. They give you, <laughs> they give you half the portion. Because it's like, oh, you grab the bag, go home. By the time you get home, you're not going to do anything about it. Yeah. She made it super weird, actually, that Indian place last time I was there. Cause she's like, oh, make sure you review us five yeah. stars. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. And she's like, standing there. She's like, are you doing it? Yeah, yeah. She said to us, too. And I'm like, yo, can you back up? Are you, you going to give me a discount if I review five Yeah, hours? exactly. What do I get out of this? More chicken, hopefully. Yeah, you would think, right? I'm going to say that next time. Like, Look, I reviewed you five stars. Hook it up. <laughs> have you ever tried a uh, goat there? No, it's good. Goat's really good. But you usually have it on the bone, but it's really easy to pull off. Ah. I've had, like, lamb uh, tikka masala. Yeah, lamb's super good. Have you ever had a uh, oxtail at like faux restaurants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super good. I've had oxtail from uh, Jamaican restaurants. Oh, nice. Yeah, real good. Basically, anything that's not American food. I, I'm, to me, American food is like barbecue. In Southern and Southern like, style. And like, like smash burgers yeah, and things chicken, like that. Chicken, potatoes, green beans. Yeah. Collard greens. Yeah, better than British food, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Fish and chips. I. <laughs> Fish and chips, that's, when made right, is good, though. Yeah, that's probably like the best it. thing they made. I had, like, when I was in London, though, I had a really good breakfast. Is yeah, it no, they, they have good breakfast. They do, yeah. yeah is, it, it, the, the whole thing is, like, oh, they eat beans on toast, which, like, I guess they do, but when you go to a restaurant, they're not, like, that's not what you get. You get, like, some good stuff. Yeah, they have a, like, tomato thing. Yeah, we had, like, sun-dried tomatoes, some sausage, like, eggs. Like, it was a, it, it was a pretty good, like... It's like a platter, almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. But have you ever seen their the TikToks of their Chinese food? No. Oh, dude, it looks absolutely gross. Like British Chinese food? Yeah, yeah. It comes with fries, and then they pour like they pour curry sauce all over it. Then they pour like the sweet and spicy, the red one, all over it. Disgusting. That's weird. Yeah. They put curry on a lot of stuff though over there. They what? Curry. Yeah. They did fight wars for it, so. That's, that's true. <laughs> they probably still got back stock from 200 years ago. Yeah, for real. But yeah, I mean, yeah. London's a cesspool, though. Yeah. So. Jared, any final thoughts on your cigar? Um, Would you recommend it? No, definitely not. There we go. I feel like I, I say this about every Cohiba. It's just never... Like, it looks nice. Have you had the Cohiba Blue? Yeah. That's probably the best one, I feel like. It's only like $12, $13. Someone bought that to me last time I had it. Hmm. What'd you think of it? Definitely better than this, but I mean... Yeah. You know. I wonder how that Jay-Z collab was. Was that with Cohiba? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Do we have that here? I don't think no. so. I think it was like a limited thing. So I guess it's not... Wasn't that good? Yeah, I didn't realize the Knuckles sandwich was made by uh, Guy Fury. Yeah. It's actually a pretty cool name. Guy Fieri? 
or knuckle sandwich. Knuckle sandwich. Did he actually put salt in it? Every episode, same I thing. I actually do want to try it. I keep looking at it and then like uh, I just forget. Yeah, we can try it now afterwards. They have okay. it here. Yeah, they have it. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, yeah. I, I don't know if they. Have, I'm gonna ask if they have the new one because there's like a brand new one that just came out. It's yeah, he's like size. he's like promoting it. He was at the yeah. Super Bowl just holding it. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, "What cigar are you smoking?" I'm like, so "Probably not, his." It, it wasn't even lit. He was just like, the whole yeah, time. "Yeah, yeah, yeah." That's what I do. sometimes at like base of events. Like if I've already had like one or two, I'll just smoke halfway through and then just hold it like, oh, for a yeah. while. That makes sense. Because like if the event's like hours long, I'll just be like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna hold this one for a while." Yeah. But yeah, so uh, Black Honey was great. Uh, that's all I gotta say about it. You've been done for a while, it. I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, good, good, good uh, episode here. All right, guys. See you later. Yeah. Peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. And now, a final word from our sponsors. Crafted for the newcomer and the connoisseur, the Besa embodies excellence at every level. Each draw, a journey through rich, nuanced flavors, and a smooth, unforgettable finish. Besa Cigar, where tradition meets perfection. See, I already told you this. And you're like, no, you didn't. And you're like, oh, sorry, that was somebody else. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've been hanging around bitches too long. Uh, Speaking of bitches. Can no. you move the box there? Can I get a please? The base of box. Doesn't it cover me up, though? N- next to you, right? Hey, you can't even see me anymore. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, you sound like a little bitch. Look, this one kind of covers me. Speaking of, bitches, Mark was just in Miami. How's that? There was zero bitches. You get your drink on, your bikini on. I should have. Can I have a little tan tan? Can you get that bug? <laughs> you want whiskey? I'll take some, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take... I'm going to take the monkey shoulder. Is anyone hungry for the vineyard on Friday? I'm hungry. I'm definitely going to be there Friday. Are you going to be there? Actually, I got to work. What do you mean? You I'm going to see if Nick can take it. Yeah. I'll do the job. Oh, okay, I'm so confused. Yeah. Miami again. I'm going to text Nick and see if we can take it. If not... I'm going to go to the after party for sure because I get off at yeah. 30. But if not, I'll just have Nick go to dinner. You can do that. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. Um, and the after party's at Corona, right? Unfortunately, it's here. Yeah, fucked up. All right, what time, what time is dinner? Six? No, uh, 6.30. Oh, yeah, okay. It's good. We get the bar early and start drinking. It's our plaster ground break. <laughs> 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 Damn, how early we get to the bar? What do you mean? You can come with us. You show by yourself, right? No, you said plastered by three. So yeah, I'm asking no, you how. Said, you, you said 6.30, right? So yeah. you get there early. You get plastered for you guys. Yeah. Come. He said we'll get there by three. Yeah, get plastered. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, he said get plastered by three. So that implies he gets there before three. Four and three minutes before 6.30. <laughs> Give me a... Mike, 10 shots. <laughs> it's going to be a long one tonight. <laughs> Give me a. Dude, I don't know. Chat, what should I drink? I don't. The the feature doesn't work right now. Where's the chat? Chat. Chat, what do you think I should drink? What do you want, Jared? Oh, you're not drinking. Yeah, like 24 hours. Chat, is Jared a bitch? Yes or no? Yeah, like 24 hours. I mean, I'm going to save all those calories for Friday. So I'm gonna drink thirty thousand calories in alcohol on Friday. That's like three thousand shots. No, it's like three hundred. A shot is a thousand calories. No, no, no. no. But you, it's not thirty thousand shots. 
You said 30,000 calories. 30,000 calories. Okay. And a shot is how many a calories? One shot, like, it's like 100 calories. Okay, so 3,000 so shots. Maybe like, you know, a little bit of mixing here, a little bit of mixing there, you know, a little wine. It's a celebration. Okay, okay. well, 2,500 shots. So, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, I mean, if I get the occasional, like, uh, you know, smoke old fashioned, or I get the occasional glass of wine, or I get the occasional summer. Does, does the smoke add calories? How many that. calories are in a cigar? We can test it out on the <laughs> If you eat a cigar, how many calories would you gain? I mean, the same thing as, you know, chewing a root. So. It's like eating a salad. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a leaf. Could you make a salad, like, in the shape of a cigar? Like a, you know, a Caesar cigar. Yeah. Uh, mm. With extra arugula. It's probably negative calories because you probably throw up. Croutons. Is that how that works? You eat something that has positive calories and you throw out now it's negative calories? Or is it zero sum? I sure is ne- sum. Negative. Depends. If you ate before, it would be negative because you throw out the stuff you ate. It's been like three weeks since we've actually done a podcast. Throw up math. So I feel like... No, we've done podcasts. We just haven't done with each other. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, What? Um. Okay. Well, I don't know why you haven't gotten the monkey shoulder yet. Oh, Jay, do you I, mind at least that? break it in, bro. Can you turn this uh, the headphones oh, yeah, on? Sorry. Yeah, it is actually really loud. Do it. Do you want? Do you want... No, 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 I can't hear anybody. Now you can't hear anyone. No. Can you hear me? Yeah. No, that's okay. okay. Give me uh. Forrester. Nah, I want some of that Havana Club. I'm gonna treat myself. Especial. Beep, 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 boop. Oh. Okay, guys. Um. Another day. Do you want some water? <laughs> Another pocket. Anyone too? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad the intern filled like the uh, refrigerator. I know. Finally, one that we might not have to fire. We've had like seven interns over the course of the year. Something like that. Uh, Howie free water. I love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's filtered water. I mean, that's a uh, purified water, though. Uh, not, not spring. Can I have a cutter? Oh, thanks. <laughs> 